Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna to compare water filters for Keurig machines. I've got some Keurig water filters and handles. I've got the K&J starter kit. And then I've got this Posev. Not sure how to pronounce it, but I get 12 water filters. This one doesn't come with a handle. But this water filter will fit the newer 2.0 handles, which are for the newer Keurigs and the 1.0, which is for that type of water tank. If you've got this type of water tank, that's considered 2.0, and you need either a short or tall handle, a 2.0. K&J sells the 2.0. But if you've got that type of water tank, it takes a 1.0 handle. But both these handles, the 2.0 and the 1.0, take the same exact carbon filter. So let's start off and compare the Keurig with the K&J. So the handles look pretty similar to the same. I'm only comparing the tall handles. I only bought the tall handle for the K&J. Next, I will be cutting open the carbon filters on all three of those, seeing if we see any difference of what's inside them. But so right away, the K&J has got this nice little thing on top that tells you what month you, you installed it. And then it gives, has another window, what month it needs changed. That's really nice. So if I put them in in October, it tells me, it, it highlights the 12, it says you need to replace it in December. That's pretty nice. Keurig does not have that. But I do like how the Keurig opens in the bottom. So this is the Keurig handle. I think it opens a little bit better. It's got these two tangs, they're kind of up high. You press them and then it opens up and then you put the filter in like that and then you close it. Now the K&J, um, it's a little different. You, you think it would have been about the same, but the tangs are down lower. It's a little harder to get, to, I find, to just get this open, but that's, that's not a super big deal. And then here's its filter. You put it in. You got to make sure you get the right one. And then it snaps on. Here I've got a water tank. Let's see if they both, looks like they both snap on about the same. Let's try the... That was the K&J. Next, let's try the Keurig. Yeah, they both feel like they snap on exactly the same. Okay, so now next let's talk about filter construction. So here I've got the Keurig. It seems, it seems very kind of loosey. This seems kind of tight, like the filter material might be just a little bit thicker. And this one over here on the right, I've noticed it seems taller. It, it is just a little bit taller. And I noticed that more when I put it in a handle. So let's see how they all fit in a Keurig handle. Here I've got the Keurig one. Again, it's kind of, you can deform it a little bit, a little easier, but it goes in there just fine. The K and J, just fine. And then when I go to close that, yeah, it does seem a little bit taller than the Keurig one. Now let's do this one. See, it's it just seems a little bit bigger. I don't necessarily like the fit of it. Yeah, everything just seems a little bit tighter. I mean, I think it will do okay, but it definitely doesn't seem like it's made to the same um, dimensions. So the Keurig one looks the smallest, like it's not as tall. And the K&J looks about the medium and then this other brand just looks bigger. Overall, just everything's bigger about it. And again, the Keurig's kind of smaller right around this area. Okay, so all three of these filters, I've been letting them soak. They're about at the 10 minute mark. Um, so with the Keurig, the water doesn't get as gray, but I get more black specks. Here, the water gets, the K and J, the water probably gets the grayest, but I definitely don't have the black specks. And over here, Water is about the medium, and I don't have those little black specks. But boy, with the Keurig, I really do have um, some black specks in there. Okay, so now let's cut them open. Let's see what's in them. Okay, I've got this. This is the Keurig. Cut open. And I'll do a close-up here when I'm all done. Here's the K&J. Noticeably, the chunks are bigger. Oosh, makes a mess. 
And here's that third brand. All right, let's examine the carbon first and then we'll do the filters. Okay, so the Keurig definitely looks smaller. The particles here, bigger chunks. These look identical here. The Keurig's definitely got something different going on. Definitely smaller, and I think that's why we see some of the smaller specks coming out. Okay, now let's look at the filter bag. It definitely thinner up here. But you know, down here where the where the water is supposed to go into the the machine, it seems pre it's pretty thick. The K and J is really thick all over, and then it's kind of thinner where the water comes out, so it's a little different. And over here is that third brand. Yeah, definitely more thicker, kind of everywhere, more thicker. So the Keurig's definitely thinner everywhere but it fits better in the holder. So thanks everybody for watching. And I hope the video helps.